New at 10 in his second State of the Union address, President Joe Biden calls on Republicans to help finish the job. The president also mentioning the Monterey Park massacre, honoring the hero who saved lives. We're going to go to Coco McAvoy in a moment in Monterey Park. But first, a look at tonight's biggest moments. Mr. Speaker, the President of the United States. President Joe Biden gives his first State of the Union address with Republican Kevin McCarthy as the Speaker of the House. I don't want to ruin your reputation, but I look forward to working with you. <laughs> he leads with bipartisan themes, including infrastructure. Tonight I'm announcing new standards require all construction materials used in federal infrastructure projects to be made in America. Later, some of that unity ends. Some Republicans want Medicare and Social Security to sunset. I'm not saying it's a majority. <laughs> Let me give you, anybody who doubts it, contact my office. I'll give you a copy. I'll give you a copy of the proposal. Some Republicans, including Marjorie Taylor Greene, chanting, liar. We all apparently agree. Social Security and Medicare is off the, off the books now, right? They're not to be sponsored. The president's invited guests include the parents of Tyree Nichols, killed recently by Memphis police. Let's come together to finish the job on police reform. Do something. Also on hand, Brandon Say, the Southern California hero who stopped the Monterey Park shooter in his tracks in an Alhambra dance studio. He saved lives. It's time we do the same. Band assault weapons now. Ban them now. Once and for all. Afterwards, Arkansas Governor Sarah Huckabee Sanders delivering the GOP response. I'm the first woman to lead my state, and he's the first man to surrender his presidency to a woke mob that can't even tell you what a woman is. Congress, and your reaction to the State of the Union? Well, I, I think the one word is disappointed. Republican Congressman Mike Garcia of Santa Clarita was not impressed. I was hoping to see a little bit more out of him, a little more accountability, responsibility, and and looking for, you know, more bipartisan uh, support. Congresswoman Young Kim, Republican from Mission Viejo, wanted to hear more about China and the recent spy balloon. While that CCP surveillance balloon was shut down, there are a lot of questions that remain of what information was collected, what the payload contained. A different view of the speech from Democratic Congressman Ted Lieu of Torrance. Joe Biden gave a fantastic speech. He was energetic. And he talked about how he was working to help the American family, and that his job was not done yet. Political analyst Brian Goldsmith says Biden's theme of finish the job is a clear allusion to a presidential run. If anyone had any doubt that he's running, um, I, I think those were extinguished tonight. So coming up at 1030, we'll hear from former Monterey Park Mayor Henry Lowe, who was invited to the speech by Senator Alex Padilla and met with Brandon Say in Washington.